father passed away recently and I know I wasn't up there a lot because he lives outside Pittsburgh Pennsylvania it's hard to get up there like I live five hours away from them my family like I have a lot of family up there my mom my aunts cousins blah 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 and they're just like, my grandfather lives on like 30 acres of land. And, uh, oh, Maryland line. We're getting, we're getting close, people. Um, my grandfather lives on like 30 acres of land. But, um, they want to sell the property. They want to like basically like just sell everything. And I'm like... I understand you want to sell, but I, I was trying to keep it into the family, but this bitch ain't got no money, so, you know, what can I do? Nothing. You know, my hands are tied. I can't even hardly buy bread sometimes. Literally. Seriously. I can hardly buy gas for my car or anything. So it's like, I'm not in any position to buy my grandfather's property. But even if I did, like, I don't see me and my husband really living there anyway. So it's just kind of like heart, heart wrenching, I guess. You know, you grew up, you know, you grew up there, going there, family functions there, family there. And now it's just like, he's gone and boom, everything, everything that you ever knew and grew up with is done. <laughs> they're 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 gonna like literally like get rid of all his shit. Burn. I heard my uncle was like making burn piles, and I'm like, to me it's just disrespectful. But that's just my own personal opinion. And I can hear my family now. I can hear my mother. I can hear my aunts and all that. Be like, well, if you wanted it, you better, you should have gotten your fat ass up here and helped us. Um, I'm not, I, I, uh, I work. Sorry. I work. I live five hours away from you people. 
I have a job. So, we're in PA, Pennsylvania. Yay. So, I don't know. I would have liked to have been able or put be put in that position to buy that property. But, what the hell am I going to do with it? You know, what the hell would I do with it? Create an animal sanctuary? That would have been nice. That would have been nice. Create an animal sanctuary. Create an animal sanctuary. Because right now, you know, there's so many animals in need because the economy is so bad. What's the first thing that suffers when the economy goes bad? The first thing is animals, dogs, cats. People can't afford to care for them, so they put them in shelters and shit like that. It sucks, dude. I don't know. What are y'all's thoughts? You know, I love my grandfather. I wasn't like super close to my grandfather. He's cool, man. Cool guy. I loved him very much. He, uh, good old fashioned Italian man. But, I don't know. It's kind of sad, dude. That everything you knew as a child growing up is gone. No more Christmas parties. No more family functions. So... I don't know. I don't know. Oh, why are we breaking? Oh. They got Ruby Tuesday. I thought that place went out of business a long time ago. to go to Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury, Pennsylvania. The daggone Amish up here in Shrewsbury. People love the Amish. I'm like, mm, not so much me. Only because I, I used to live near Amish people and they were Rude. But, I mean, they were just effing rude. And they stunk. And they don't pay taxes. And they get, like, agricultural loans. And they don't pay taxes on the, any of that shit. So, I was just not a fan. <laughs> They were quiet. <laughs> they didn't have a lot of crap going on over their house, but... <clears throat> Just not a fan. Puppy mill breeders! But 
Yeah, I'm just, like, I'm not trying to stereotype Amish people. People be like, oh my god, you're, you're racist against Amish people. Oh my gosh. What's wrong with you? Um, I live near them. They weren't the funnest people. <laughs> they weren't the most nicest people. Like, you'd wave to them and they'd look at you like, who the fuck are you? Literally. Like, they would, would wave at you, and you'd wave at them and they'd, be, they'd look at you like, bitch. I don't know you. I'm like, well, fine. Just... Just uh, make some nice pretzels for me and call it a day. How about that? I guarantee you that most of these people that are buying these homes work in Maryland. Oh, yeah. There's Maryland license plates right there. So cute. Maryland. Maryland, Maryland, Maryland. What's up with the road? Hi, Raven. Raven's, Raven's bed. These are nice. <clears throat> They're duplexes. I don't know how I feel about a duplex. Like, they look like houses, but they're like duplexes. What if you really hate your neighbor? What if your neighbor's like a piece of shit? Loser. Then what do you do? 
Like, you're stuck with it. With your damn duplex. They're cute, though. I like them. Oh, Raven, stop. It's called Bridge View. Bridge View. Ma'am, chill. Townhome starting at 300000 y'all. Which is actually good. Oh, Raven. What do you want? That's actually decent because, um... I know my car's a mess because if these were for sale in Maryland, they literally would be a ton of money, like a hundred thousand more. Owe us money. No shit. No shit, fuckers. Oh, that's cute. Little creek. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do, lady? What do you want me to do? your urine. <laughs> this is cra it's crazy because like <laughs> people be trying to sell like their dirty underpants <laughs> on like whatever that site is. I don't know where the hell this goes but so I'm going to turn around. Better not be glass. You don't live around here lady. No trespassing. Yo, if I saw Bigfoot right now, I'd be like, what the fuck? Alright, y'all. Well, that was my little tour. I was trying to find a, like a, a gas station or something, but it's whatever. Hope everyone has a wonderful afternoon. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to my problems. <laughs> because I have many of those in life. And I love you. And till next time.